Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we will be talking about few interview related questions on Git. So without any further delay, let's start. Now before we start with Git, we need to understand one term which is version control system or source code management. So what exactly is version control system? It is a system that keeps track of every developer's contribution and maintains the complete history of all the code changes. So suppose you are working on a project with your team and every developer will be working on some different set of features. So they will be making their own changes and committing the changes to one particular software which is known as version control system. Git is also a kind of version control system itself. Consider a scenario where you are working on a feature and you have made some changes. But after your changes are merged in the main code, there is some issue occurring in the application. So what you can do in that case? So in that case, this version control system itself will help you to restore the code base to the previous working version because it maintains the versions in the form of history of all the code changes. There are various version control systems available in the market, but the most widely used one is Git. So now let's move to the second question. Second question is, what is a repository in Git? So the repository is nothing but a file structure where all the project related files are stored. You can say it's a folder on your local system. It can be maintained at local machine or at a remote location as well. While you will be developing the code or making the changes in the code, you will be maintaining the repository on your local. But once the feature is developed on your local, then you will be pushing all those changes from your repository which is present on local to one remote location as well. Next is git clone. So what exactly is the use of git clone? So whenever you will start working on any of the project, you will be assigned a specific feature in that project. So they will already be having one repository already created in one of the remote location. So how you will start working on the feature on the existing application itself. To do that, you need the code of the application which is already there on your remote repository. So to do that, you can use git clone command. So what it will do, it will copy the existing repository which is there in the remote to your local itself so that you can start working on the feature which is assigned to you and make the changes accordingly. If we see the syntax of using git clone is very simple. You just need to provide git clone and then URL of the repository. That repository URL most probably will be ending with .git if you see. Next, you interviewer can ask you how you can define the user related information using git CLI. CLI is command line interface. So is there any command using which you can define the user related detail? So what is that user related detail? It can be your email ID or the name which will be uh, added in the repository itself. And then whenever you are pushing the details to the remote repository, those details will be used. So that information can be added in the repository in the local repository using a command git config so using git config command you can define the user related details for the repository the syntax for using git config is given here you can use git config then hyphen hyphen global user dot email till this point it's a command it will tell you need to add a configuration at the global level and what is that configuration? That configuration key is user.email. And after that, you need to provide the value of that particular configuration. Similarly, for the name, git config hyphen hyphen global and then user.name space whatever your name is. So this is how you can define user related information using git command line interface. The next question interviewer might ask you is what is a git commit? So when you are when you will be working on your local on any of the feature which is assigned to you so you will not be making the complete changes at once you will be doing the changes in steps or in phases so suppose in between itself you want to uh, save your code or you want to make a save point with whatever changes that you have done so you can use git commit command so this git commit command is used to record whatever changes that you have done on your local repository so those will be added as a commit so the syntax for commit is very simple you can use git commit hyphen m and then a useful message which will depict like uh, what all changes you have done till this particular point so using git commit you can record the changes till that point in your local repository 
the next very important question which is what is a conflict so if we see usually in git uh, all the feature merges are done automatically unless there can be few cases when automatic merge will not work so what are those cases those cases can be when two separate branches have changes on the same line in a file suppose you are working on one of the file and someone from your team is also working on the same file but you have made the changes on the same line number both of you have made the changes on the same line number but are different changes in that case a merge conflict will occur the second condition is whenever you have deleted a file but someone has made changes in that file itself and trying to merge it so in that case also you will see a merge conflict so all the merge conflicts whenever they arise they has to be resolved manually after discussion with your teammates the next interviewer might ask you like how to make an existing project a git repository suppose you are creating a suppose a java project uh, and in your eclipse itself you have created a new project but it's not a git repository as of now but you want to convert it to a git repository project so to do that we can use git init command it is used for creating either a new blank repository in that folder or if there is already an existing project then it will convert that particular to a git project itself the git init command creates dot git subdirectory in the current working directory wherever you will be executing this git init command this newly created subdirectory contains all the necessary metadata which is required for tracking of the files uh, maintaining the staging area files and all other details related to git repository the next question could be what is the staging area in git so staging area contains the file which will be part of your next commit we use git add command to add the changed files to the staging area and whenever we execute git commit then whatever files are present in the staging area those will be committed let me explain this with an example suppose you have started working on the feature and you have made changes in one of the files so till that point whenever you have made the changes that particular file is not being tracked by git so that will be under untracked files so you want to add that file to the tracked files itself so to do that you can use git add and that particular file name once you execute this command that file will be moved from untracked to the managed files so though all those managed files they though will be stored in staging area and all the files which are present in that staging area whenever you execute git commit so all those files will be committed to the repository as a record now in the end we will have a couple of uh, scenario based questions so let's uh, go ahead with the first scenario based question suppose you have added a file in staging area after making the changes but you want to remove it from there now because of some other changes required or because some of any other reason so if you want to remove it from the staging area how you can do it so we can undo all the git add operations which you have done already so that for that we need to use git reset command so that's a very simple command you can use git reset and the file name so whatever uh, file name which is there in the staging area with that name that will be removed and will be moved back to the untracked part now let's move to the second scenario based question suppose you are working on a feature but work is not complete as of now and you do not want to make a commit on the incomplete work which you have already done but on the other hand you also have to switch your branch to start working on some other feature as well so how you can proceed in this scenario in this scenario one is you can directly switch to the new branch and all the changes in your current branch those will be gone but git is there to help you so to um, save all those changes without saving it to the uh, without committing it to your branch you can use git stash command so what it will do it will enable you to switch the branches without committing the current branch itself so whatever changes you have done they will remain as it is on that branch but without committing it so that once you are done with the other work or other feature you can come back to your previous branch and you can use git slash apply so that all those changes which you have slashed earlier from your branch those will be applied back and you don't have to start from the beginning again so this is how uh, git will make the developer's life very easy so that is it for this video we will come up with some more advanced uh, questions on git because these were the very basic questions on git so in the next video we will see few advanced questions which can be asked in the interview for git 
If you like the video, please share it with your dev community. Thank you so much for watching. Keep learning.